In Northeast Texas, down Highway 19, as you go towards Sulphur Springs, there's a really cool house that's getting moved down the highway. Wait, 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 wait. No, this looks like an interesting small hot rod shop that, well, I did take my little Toyota GR86 out to. And you know what? I would really like to give you a sneak peek at this hot rod shop down in Cooper, Texas. Welcome to Road Odyssey. Thank you for joining me. And if you like the videos that I provide, please subscribe. And if you're on Rumble, please follow. Also, remember, on Facebook, under Road Odyssey, you will find my Facebook page, of which I update you on all kinds of daily, weekly events and things that I am up to. So visit me out there. Murray's Speed Shop. Yep. Find them on Facebook and take a gander out there. It is a nice Facebook page for sure. You can also find Murray Speed Shop on Auto Yes. A-U-T-O-Y-A-S. Take a peek out there and you'll see some of the things that they're in the middle of and have been historically. And speaking of historically in the past, this shop run by Shane Murray, was initially nothing but interior, a great interior shop. Now, Murray's Speed Shop is just that, interior, paint, engine work, body work, etc. Out front, as we take a quick look around, you'll see the pickup truck, a drag Camaro that he's working on, he is Shane, a uh, kind of a farm truck that's going through a pretty long process of multiple jobs and the dually. What I'm calling a farm truck is a really nice Chevy. This thing is getting well fixed up. Interior, some engine work being done. So they're cranking this thing out very nice. And then moving along, you'll see there's the dually and the other cars and trucks out front. Sweeping around on the interior, a very cool coupe. And this, I believe, is not a Model A or T. It is an Essex. Another quick pan on this front interior. Awesome coupe there. There's the Essex giant, giant rear wheels. So that is a cool hot rod there. And then looking around again into the bodywork area. A little dusty. They've been working on that Corvette. And you'll see the paint booth. Now coming around back up front, you'll see Shane's interior room, and he does have plenty of room in there. He does a great job for all types of uh, interiors on all these awesome, awesome restorations and hot rods. Now these irons, these are really old turn of the century irons, antiques, and he uses them for weights to hold down his fabrics. Well, I think that's a great idea. And just a couple of really cool engines for future builds. Another look at the paint booth. And he does have a nice paint booth and nice paint gun. So he can do an honest, good paint job here. Taking a look at some of the team members. Shane on the right in the black shirt. That's your main man. And his dad, Ricky, on the left. A very cool, nice guy. Really like him a lot. Fun to hang out with. So he is always hard at work, always. I have never seen him not have a tool in his hand or talking business, really focused gentleman. Now panning around further, you'll see the young man working on the truck. There's Shane in his upholstery shop, Ricky walking around, getting ready to do some welding work. This is Ray, super cool guy, fun to talk to, prepping the dually for a center uh, trans tunnel, console, all that good jazz. Just a quick idea of how Shane thinks. He does not mind taking already existing material like the air intake from a truck LS and turning that into a work of art for a future build. Taking a look now at the Essex, uh, it could be a 1930. I'm not 100% sure of the date, but I'm Fairly certain I'm just right there in the ballpark. So they have been doing extensive work on this. Namely, I'm looking at the front steering column, a very cool mechanism for guaranteeing that the steering 
can go through the headers and you don't have to do a lot of work uh, with the steering if you need to uh, do engine work. And of course, there is uh, some interior floor work that's being done and the console and, you know, jazz like that. So they're doing a really fun job on that car. Just a few quick photographs of Ricky working on the trans tunnel console for this Essex. I just thought this was kind of fun. If you thought this was a 47 Chevy, you'd be right. They have inherited this from, I believe, Fired Up Garage, who did the paint job and possibly some of the other work. So this has gone through a few different interesting custom hot rod shops. It is a great build. Now, as we walk around this, you'll think, well, this is really cool, but I wonder what the interior looks like. Well, let's take a look and see. I really like the interior that Shane has made and installed in this car, especially the dome lighting. Now, some people might criticize the color choice. I don't think so. I think it's fine. It's on the conservative side, but it's classy and it goes very well. The design and layout of the console and the fitment of the seats, all of this is, to me, just perfect for this car. Easy to get in and out of, easy to see what's going on. I love it. Time for the Dooley. This is a beast and a half. They are completely redoing this truck after it had already been done once before. So they are completely upgrading the whole front end, engine mounts and all that. You can see where this truck has been worked on before. And now Shane and the gang are going completely over all the metalwork, all brand new metalwork on this truck so that uh, this engine's going to be mounted a little further back, blah, 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 blah. A lot of stuff going on there, uh, which means that the interior has to be completely redone as well. That trans tunnel and the dash, all of this is getting reworked. So I would like to see this beast in the future. Oh, and the fact that it is turned into a crazy dually. So new fender wells, fender wheel tubs, this, this whole thing being put on air ride. It's a complete transformation for this truck. There was no rust on it, which was good. So this is a fantastic build. Here, I've just got a couple of quick shots of Ray just prepping out uh, the cardboard for replacing the trans tunnel and getting all this into shape. So I thought that might be a little bit fun for you. And another shot of these magnificent rear wheels and axle air ride all that here are the tubs for the rear end and just a few fun shops of ricky doing some welding up front inside the frame for the motor mounts and all the support here for the engine uh just you know grins and giggles the point of this i'm illustrating that every single person there is working and working and working. It's non-stop. I hope you enjoyed this quick overview of Murray's Speed Shop. Paint, interior, body work, engine work, whatever it takes, they will do it. It is a small shop, so they don't take very many jobs at a time. They are located Highway 19, Cooper, Texas. Look them up. Follow them on Facebook more than anything, although they are on Auto Yes. So with that, please relax, take it easy. I'll see you later. And remember, I'm out on Facebook if you want to see what's going on on a daily, weekly basis. So if you're on YouTube, please like and subscribe. If you're on Rumble, please follow. And with that, see you later. Bye.